Welcome to another Wednesday night's edition of Delma and Louise. Brought to you by Sullivan's Basting Spray. <laughs> we laughed last week because that was sitting in the back of our um, set here. And we, when we watched it back, we thought that huh, we, we should have a new product each to week. Put a plug in for Sullivan's Basting Spray if you ever wondered how we held our, hold our quilts together while we quilt Sullivan's. And do you know that the first time I used Sullivan's basting spray was a contest that I entered for Quilt Market? I do remember that Quilt Market was in Kansas City, and when we showed up at the booth, we realized she won. Yes, I did. She did win. It was a pendant that you had embroidered that was very Americana. And I bet if I seen it today, I'd think, oh, what was I thinking on that, that project? Our first quilt market adventure. I remember we had your old Jeep. We drove down there with grandma and we had a blast. Grandma and mom went to quilt market. My dad and I went to baseball games and we took in the sights of Kansas City. That was a lot of fun. Do you remember we went on a, a trek one day and we ended up somewhere we weren't supposed to be? Kind of like a security meeting for the Kansas City Raceway that was going to make its debut in the fall. It says a lot about their security a lot in the car and from Minnesota. And I had no turbo in my Jeep, so we didn't have a we super fast getaway right away. to get the heck out of there I also before we got arrested. Remember, did we put gas in at a place in Missouri where the gas station was going to get held up a yeah. little bit? You know, we're just so naive out we here in the rocks or cow area naive. that it was kind of like, holy moly, there still really are bars on people's yeah. gas station they windows. They just shut the windows down if they get nervous. And I, if I remember right, it was dumb, the stuff you remember. I think it was over a bag of Cheetos. Yeah, I think like, it was, it was just something really stupid. I also remember, speaking of quilt market, we've traveled to some really cool places like Pittsburgh. My favorite. Which was an far. awesome town. But I also remember having the ride of a life in a taxi and being so <laughs> glad that we made it to the airport. I don't like to fly, but I could have kissed the airplane when we saw it. I was pretty sure we were going to die on our way to the airport. Yeah, it would be fun to hear if any of you have had any uh, wild taxi rides. That was mm -hmm. one that um, probably will always and forever be the culprit of anxiety when I have to hop in somebody else's car. Plus, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Gives me sweaty palms just thinking about it. And we couldn't oh, say pull over and let us get out because we had no idea where no, we were. We were cruising 90 down the interstate and your taxi driver is not hanging onto the steering wheel and bouncing his foot back and forth from the gas pedal to the brake and you're the one that can watch all of it. Don't look at And you at already her. get nervous. Don't it's look. not a good combination. <laughs> Sometimes there's a reason why our eyelids close. Yep. Well, what are we going to talk about tonight? Well, we had so much fun reminiscing with Quilt Minnesota, which probably starts Friday. I think so. And we've been also having fun, thanks to Grandma, because our garden out west, like we tried, but we only got one cucumber. Grandma's kept us well supplied, so we've been making pickles the past two nights. Last night we had a little power outage, so we were kind of like back to that first we Quilt were. Minnesota. Only no extension cord would help us last night. Nope, so we finished pickles this morning before we went to work. Um, but with the cooking, we used to do cookbooks from our Quilt Minnesota section. And we're like, oh, we could share some of those quilts with you, along with some wool projects that we didn't share last time. Because with a featured cotton quilt, we always did a wool one. We usually did, but I could only find two, and we did quite a few more Quilt no. Minnesotas than two. You, you have know, to. what I learned today, today I spent the day with my favorite uncle. Mm -hmm. It's his birthday on the weekend, happy so happy birthday. birthday. And I went out and had lunch with him and a couple other um, aunts and uncles. It was a very, very nice day. But we were reminiscing about old times. Mm -hmm. And I had an, my uncle, well, he wouldn't have been my uncle. He would have been probably my great uncle. And I remember as a kid, he had these great big old cool vintage cars. They were vintage, at least to me back then when I was so tiny. And he always had candy in his glove box. Oh, he did. So when I knew Uncle Virgil, I remember him as the man with the candy and the, the in cubby the car. hole. But they were telling me today that he had an old trunk. Yep. And in his trunk, he had mercury. And I guess studies show that if you play with mercury, you can get Alzheimer's. And he had Alzheimer's. No, he didn't have Alzheimer's, oh. <laughs> but some days I think I'm getting mad because I Do can't you play remember. with mercury? I don't remember playing in his trunk. Hmm. But we had a lot of laughs about 
those guys back then, they did play with mercury. I did, I've heard everybody say that it was fun. You could roll that stuff across the floor. The things we missed out on. So because of whatever reason that I can't remember what all of our wool projects are, we're gonna share two with you. Um, I remember the very first one. I do too. Where's the lady slipper? And that little pattern has done quite well for us. I think we sold it till we couldn't get that pretty pink wool yep. that was used on the outer edge. edges. Maybe because we had such a good success with it, we decided that every year, because we were known as a wool shop, that we needed to continue to do a wool project. So my mom did this one for me, which was the Minnesota Lewin. Those are the only two quote, the only two wool projects I that could we find. we could find. Or remember. Well, in our defense, we did kind of pack everything up in a hurry and then moved it into one trailer and then moved half of it into the house and half of it into the other side of the building and then part of that over into this building and some of it back up to the house. And in the midst of all that, I think we've lost a few boxes It wasn't along Mercury, the way. it's just on organization. I think it's on organization. Huh. Well, that's good to know. This is my probably favorite quilt and it's just a super simple, easy pattern that we did out of the very last quilt Minnesota uh, pop that we were involved with, which used their little block. And then I just put random pieces of the fabric together and put a fuzzy back on it. And so she uses it almost I every bond night. with this quilt quite a bit. And back to our cookbook quilt. This is our very first one. so. We told you about the toilet paper. The other thing that everybody thought we were nuts for is handing out fabric. They're just going to come into your store because they only want the fabric. And that was a lie because people really did stop and visit and look around the building, regardless of what people say. So this was um, using some of the neutrals that we handed out. We handed out one 30 yard cut bundles to finishers. And then we of course tested it out of some darker Kansas Troubles fabric added some buttons on it for dimension and yo-yo so this on one the had yo-yos judy yo-yos her favorite thing to work with and i remember this quilt gave me a lot of anxiety oh i remember that too so this was our last cookbook quilt and i always wanted to do a snail's trail so i did this and called it whirlpool and asked my mom how much fun it was to quilt it and it wasn't that the quilting was bad, it was just I knew that the quilting had to, to be appropriate for the quilt pattern and snail's trail is above my head. So um, I was a little nervous when I quilted this, but we were happy with the results in the end. And I believe we actually gave away these batiks yep, um, to our hoppers bundle. that year. So The other one was called truffles and in hindsight, I could have brought one of the testers home, but the reality is I didn't sew it together like the pattern said to. Um, but that one was out of blue batiks, which we also gave away. Yep, we did. And I just have to share because, you know, as I was digging in the wool bucket to find these uh, projects that we did back at Quilt Minnesota, I knew that these two would be your favorites. <laughs> so we, uh, we have something we call a Hope Series that is not a swastika. <laughs> for the record just yeah, so everybody sure knows don't want to end up it on is the not news. a swastika we don't need princeburg minnesota especially princeburg minnesota on the news for that but when president obama was in office um this kind of represented his platform and we were trying to be spirited with like we kind of do with any election regardless of what the outcome is you always try to support and be optimistic about Optimism. the things that are going to happen and so this was that um it was not a success it but wasn't. my most favorite thing ever that we laugh about is the golden umbrellas <laughs> and i don't know why she calls them golden because they're actually not golden Dimensional umbrellas and i thought this was pretty cool because this was april's April showers bring May flowers. Yeah, and growing up as a kid, I couldn't wait to go out into the cow pasture because May flowers were always prevalent. And so, you know, it was perfect. The April showers bring May flowers. And every time I dig it out, she laughs. So won't so she you. be surprised <laughs> when this is on the altar at her wedding? There isn't going to be an altar. We're getting married under a tree. <laughs> well, I think it could hang nicely by the umbrella handle from the tree. What do you guys think? 
I think I you should leave it. us your comments on how you think we should use this and incorporate it into uh, your wedding ceremony. I will gladly have it there for great we'll memories. We'll be showering a lots of children, I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this took a turn. <laughs> I just thought I could throw that out there tonight. It would be safe. Oh, well, how many are we having? One, two, three, four, seven. Twins run in the family, Lacey. Need a bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always wanted to drive a big old van. I always have. You keep speaking. I have a couple things I'd like to share with them that I've made that are new. Okay. And I forgot to put them over here in our pile. Do you like my mask? I do. Are the mosquitoes still getting you? Did you fix my hole? No. I think that you need a lot of air when you wear a mask, so you know it's working. It is working. You keep well. them entertained while I go find my new projects. Do I you? get to do a happy dance? If you'd like, right. people liked seeing your legs last week. <laughs> yes, thank you for my lovely romper comments. I suppose we could always do the chicken dance. We have a lot of fun with that at Grandma Grandpa's. Hurry up with your quilts. We want to see them not listen to me sing. Here we go. Perfect. So I'm quite excited. This little guy is my newest wool project and it's just a bunch of acorn leaves. I was quite happy with it when I got it done. And so you will find that on our website by the end of the week, the kits. Your acorn leaves are going to be pre-cut. Hey, hey, it doesn't get any better than so that. So when you get it, you just arrange your leaves and start stitching. So I nice. hope that people like that. This is a new take on our pattern called Dainty Patches. And I added wool applique in there. And then I added the lace that I ordered in that said it was midnight, which to me midnight would be black, but it was brown. And it looks quite nice, I think. It does, it looks perfect on there. I finished it up. And this last one's been hanging on our wall. This is one of my favorites. And tonight you'll get to see something that is finished as far as the sewing of construction of the quilt. And now it will be layered up and I will add the detail to it. So sometimes I think it's fun for you to see what the quilt looks like before it's actually finished off because they generally change quite a bit once we get that stitching on there. So the next time we'll be showing it you'll be seeing it completely finished and we will let you know what the details are going to be on that pattern at that time. This is one of my favorite ones that you've done lately. Well, thank you. Yeah. I suppose we could hang that up at the wedding too if I get it done. I like this one. Better than the Mayflowers. Better than the umbrellas, I'm sorry. Sometimes the truth hurts. I won't take it personally. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed tonight's segment of Thelma and Louise. We hope you have a great week and weekend. It's hard to believe it's already going to be August. August already, it's crazy. And we will see you next week. Have a good week. <laughs>